Okay guys, here's the gig. You know when you first start out with GTA 5 and you're in the story mode, the game only gives you a very small map to work with. Like everything is smudged or blurred out except for the area around your house. Yeah, take a look. Yeah, obviously that map leaves little to be desired. I guess GTA wants to keep you in your own neighborhood until you learn the ropes. That's okay. But if you're like me, you want to go out to other places, check out Vinewood, or head out of town and lock over a few convenience stores, or just go to the beach, meet some girls, and make a ruckus. Now, GTA will add or unblur or, ex or expand your map when you actually travel the streets and roads to explore new places. And if you use your car, that's going to take forever to grind that out. Now, exploring is fun, but if you're in a hurry, there's another and a much faster way to get a full map. To make this happen, the only thing you're going to need is a helicopter. And your first reaction is probably, where in the hell am I going to get a helicopter? And if I do find one, what good is it? I don't know how to fly the thing. And that is the purpose of this tutorial. Franklin is going to show you where to get a helicopter, and it's not at that heliport over by the Yacht Harbor. There's never anything there unless you actually own one. Where we're going is almost within walking distance from the house. If you go after sundown, there's usually one or two sitting there. And when you do grab one, Franklin will show you how to fly it. And this is a skill that you will absolutely, positively, definitely need as you get further into the game. Also, once we're in the air, and just for fun, we'll throw in a few extra adventures while we expand out your map. Okay, let's take a look at one of Franklin's maps to see if we can figure out where this place is. Okay, let's figure out where we're going to go. Right, we're right here, this flashing green arrow thing. Okay, and that's Franklin's house. And where we got to get to is over in here. Okay, this here is, uh, this is the local hospital. It's also the tallest building in the area, so it's pretty hard to miss. Anyway, it's almost within walking distance, but we'll take the bike over. Um, look for an area on the map that looks like a big ice cream cone. Okay, and what we want to be is right here on the corner where this uh, walkway is. So put the bug there, and let's go for a ride. One more time. Okay, keep in mind that to unblur your map at the location or area you want, GTA 5 does not care if you're on the ground. At that spot, we're a thousand feet in the air. If you can look down on it, it's now on your map. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, out of the driveway, turn to the left, follow the purple line that's on the mini-map on the lower left-hand corner. Let's roll. Actually, we're going to be there in about less than 30 seconds. Okay, left turn. Okay. Just pull over here and stop for a second. Here's what I want you to look at. That building there. That's the hospital. And what you're after is that set of staircases that go up the side there. So let's head on over there. Through the gate and up the stairs. And there's the last set of stairs, and we're on the roof. And there you go. You got two of them. Take your pick. And the way you get in that is just like you boost a car. set some power and get out of here. Squeeze, uh, pick up the controller, squeeze the trigger on the right hand side and hold it down. Now you can do the same thing with the W key uh, if you're using the keyboard and mouse. Now hold it down, I'm trying to get up to about 2,000 feet. That'll give us plenty of room between the helicopter and the ground uh, just in case we run into trouble or we need some space to practice maneuvers. 
Uh, let's talk about point of view. Uh, this helicopter, it's got a look down feature, and you need that to land on tiny helipads on tops of buildings. And if you switch to first person point of view, uh, what you're interested in is the dial that says ALT, the one that's moving. And right now, we're at 1900 feet, and we're just coming up to 2000 feet. Let's, let's fly this thing. Joystick on the on the upper left corner of the controller. Push it forward. Woohoo! Look at this go. All right, we've added, we're adding speed. We're diving down and we're covering the ground. Pull it back and we'll go straight back up again. And in fact, we can fly it backwards. For right and left turns, uh, use the joystick. Press it to the left. Do a left turn. Or press it to the right and do a right turn. You can do the same thing. Uh, on the key, uh, numeric keypad on a keyboard using the arrows. Oh, look out there in the distance. That's the airport. Whatever you don't fly into their airspace, uh, they'll send up a gunship and blow you out of the sky. So let's go do a landing somewhere. Let's head out to the beach. So let's uh, bounce forward a little bit. And here we are at the beach. All right, there's a sandy, big sandy patch next to the tennis courts there on the left or uh, before you get to that building, which I think is a lifeguard headquarters. Uh, what you do is take your finger off the trigger. It's like taking your foot off the gas and you're just going to coast in. Okay, your job right now is just keep it away from the lamp posts and out of that building. So just let it drift down. Uh, take time. There's no rush. your first helicopter landing. That's outstanding. Let's get out of here. Alright, honk it over to the right and let's head downtown. Now, what you've done so far is now you have the whole beach on your map and uh, all the streets and highways and roads that you flew over on the way out here, they're all on the board and they're on your map too. Now there's downtown. It's a lot of fun to fly through the buildings there. Uh, off in the distance. Something cool i got to show you. Alright, there's a house down here you got to see. There's the one right underneath us, underneath us there with the long, skinny swimming pool. Guess what, dude? That's going to be yours real soon. Uh, if you work for Lester, it's eventually going to he's going to put you in there. Uh, and if you take a look at it, it's got that beautiful pool. You've got a jacuzzi deck that surrounds the whole thing. Uh, the ground floor, you got bedrooms, you've got a dressing room, bathroom, top floor, kitchen, uh, living room, TVs, you've got a nice big flat roof you can land a helicopter on, uh, you got a sitting area, you've got two fireplaces, there's a garage, two car garage over in the corner there. Literally it is the most beautiful house in the game and that includes online too. So anyway, that's going to be yours someday, but for right now, we got to work on our map, so let's get out of here and head back to the beach. Up ahead, that's the Eclipse Towers. Now, don't hit it. At one time, this was the most expensive property in the game. The place has great layouts, 10-car garage, but for some reason, nobody understands it. It has the crappiest views. This road following grind is a bit boring, so occasionally we'll be skipping ahead to the best parts, like now. Okay, we're at the beach. Turn to the right and follow the road up the coast. Now there's something up ahead I should warn you about. That thing up the road is the Fort Zancudo military base. You get too close and they will kill you. So what we'll do is just turn to the left and head out over the ocean and go around it. But if you're a really good pilot, you can try and fly through the tunnel, but there's always a chance of running into a big truck head on, and then you're really screwed. So what we'll do is follow the runway direction out over the ocean, and then we'll start swinging to the right when we get plenty of room. Okay, looks like we're just about clear. 
Uh, just for fun. Here's what it looks like when you do get too close. down and get back on track. I got one last thing to show you. Now check this out. Up there is the top of Mount Chiliad. And there it is. And this is as far as we go. You got the hang of it now so you can go grab your own helicopter and get your own map to unblur cover the whole island if you want. Actually, this was a great place to stop. When you're driving north, look for this place on your left. It's an aerial tramway that will take you up to the top of Mount Chiliad. Just park whatever you're using in this lot, then head into the building and wait for a tram. Then you jump on and buy a ticket. For us, we're going to try something different. We're going to fly up to the top of them and land up there. Then we'll finish this tutorial with an insane way to get back down the mountain. That is, if we manage to pull off a landing. Oh, that square thing up there. That's the other end of the tramway. And we're almost there. Oh, just to the right. I'm sorry, the left of the uh, box up there, the, the station. Uh, that's a lookout. Uh, and just to the right of that, there it looks like there's two dirt bikes sitting there. Oh, check it out. Uh, the tramway is just coming into the station. So let's land this thing. Oh, crap. We're coming in too fast, and we're committed. We can't turn around. We're going to overshoot. Damn, 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 damn. Ow, ow. Ah, crap. Well, as they say, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Okay, let me show you which way to go. Now that path to the right, that'll take you right to the lookout spot and uh, to the two, two dirt bikes. Um, and that's actually a fun ride down the hill, but we're going to go for something a little more different, a little more exciting. Alright, get on the metal sidewalk, turn to the right. And go on all the way down to the end. Now this is where the gondola pulls in, and you can jump on here and head on back down the hill, or you can go back next door. Yeah, that's what we need. You see that blue thing? That's how we're getting down. It's a parachute, and we're going to base jump this thing. Now, sometimes GTA will ask you if you want to make a jump, but if you already have your own parachute in your weapons inventory, you can just go ahead and make the dive on your own. Okay, let's head out on the edge of the tower. Important warning. Initially, there's not much room between us and the ground. As soon as you jump off, you have one second or less to pull the grip cord. And you do that by clicking on the left mouse button, or if using the Xbox controller, by clicking on the green A button. Hey dude, you're flying. Now the controls are exactly the same as the helicopter. Use the left joystick to control your direction. Push it to the right, you're going to go to the right. And push it to the left, you go to the left.
Now here's what happens when you push the stick forward. You immediately go into a dive. You pick up speed like crazy, but you also lose altitude like crazy. Just pull back on the stick to level it out and slow down. Just always remember that the controls are like the helicopter except for one major factor. You can't climb. You'll always lose an altitude and you can never get it back. Oh, look at Franklin go. Okay, okay, distance. How far can I fly with this thing? You can reach any solid ground you can see from up here. This thing floats forever. Eventually, you'll run into a maniac named Dominic. He's a skydiving nut and will take you on all kinds of hairy adventures. After a few jumps with him, you'll be a master of the sport, and you will need that skill. Okay, we're running out of room, so it's time to put this thing down. We could put it on the beach, but that's a little too easy. Uh, let's save a walk and stick it on the highway. Watch it, though. If your canopy touches anything, like a light pole, a tree, if it brushes the side of a building, it will immediately cut you loose, and the fall will probably kill you. Okay, watch out for the tree, watch out for the pole. The best advice I can give you is just keep the joystick in a neutral position. Let it float. Good. Perfect. All right, when you get close to the ground, pull the joystick back and let it float down. That's a way. Okay, where the hell are we? Hey, welcome to Polito Bay. Now what's next? Nothing. We're done. Go pick out a car to jack or call a cab and head on home. We've had a rough morning and actually I'm beat. Damn, this thing was supposed to be less than five minutes long, but every time we got close to the end, something new and important popped up that we thought would be valuable for you to learn. So how do we do? As a tutorial, we learned to locate and snatch a helicopter, and we also learned to fly the damn thing. Next, we saw Franklin and your future new home. Then, what happens when you get too close to Fort Zancudo and how not to land a helicopter on the top of Mount Chiliad? Lastly, how to base jump and handle a parachute. Oh yeah, also in the process, we took care of our main objective, which was the unblurring of your map. So what's next on your channel? Here's a list of our coming attractions, soon to be seen at a monitor near you. First, the Pacific Bluffs Briefcase Dive. This is the big one. This is the one that's worth $25,000, which we will turn into hundred k And it ain't easy. It's a long way to go. It can be a bitch to find. It's super deep. And then there's the sharks. The second video is a short one that shows you a few GTA 5 tricks that everyone misses but are so friggin' obvious. And some will give you a major advantage in any shootout. And that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please click on the thumbs up icon and leave us a like. And it really helps a lot. And if you want to be the first in line on the money deals and the other weirdness you come up with, just mash that subscribe button. See ya and peace out.